This is my adventure book. And on this page, it talks about connecting with strangers. This is a story about meeting, learning, and connecting with strangers. I was in Munich, and I was waiting to board a train to go to Innsbruck. This is about a two-hour train ride. We are in Munich for the nth time. Gonna look for food. We're only here for 20 minutes. So it's like Munich Hauptbahnhof and then food. The train is going all the way to Rome. I'm getting off in Innsbruck, so I can't sleep. We are looking for Wagon 259. 259, for it's Why doesn't it say Innsbruck? I hope it's gonna go to Innsbruck. When I finally got on the train, I went in a compartment? Compartment. The compartment had four other people. My best friend Red, this very pretty girl about our age, a funny girl a little bit older than us, and finally this 50 to 60 year old man whose name was Abby. Everyone there was using their phone except for Abby. I decided to stop using my phone because I felt that he really wanted to talk. And I kind of wanted to talk to him, I'm not sure why. But then as soon as I put down my phone, he started talking to me. We started talking and he asked me where I studied and then I asked him where he studied. He told me, at 16, I went to the University of Life. I joined the army and saw the world. He told me something really cool about the army that stuck with me until now, maybe because I had a misconception of it all my life. He said, we don't just go to war, we help people. He shared with us his story of when he went to Africa to do some community work with other soldiers. And they entered this house with absolutely nothing, it was just a house. And the only food or drink they had there was this one packet of coffee. And that was the only thing they had there and yet they gave it to him he said that people with nothing are the most beautiful people and i was thinking about it and it's true imagine they have nothing and yet their generosity was in that one packet of coffee that they gave and they gave everything that was their everything and they gave it Ooh. Anyway, the point I was originally trying to make might have veered off a bit, but the thing is, I wouldn't have known any of that if I didn't look up and talk to him. One of the things that inspired me to make this movie today was that when I woke up this morning and I checked Messenger, Messenger is trying to do what Snapchat is doing, what Instagram is doing, and people are just so focused on watching other people live their own lives. People should be more focused on living their own life. That's just my opinion though. Talk to people. Look at them in the eye when you're talking to them. I'm gonna end with this quote from Abby. And he said, everyone knows stuff about the world. You just have to talk to different people. This is my adventure book. And on this page, it talks about connecting with strangers. After a while, you'll realize that the road is not the only place to learn lessons. You'll hear one along bus stops, one over breakfast, and one in every friend you have yet to meet. Some of the best conversations you'll ever have will happen when you're unguarded, when you're unfazed by the perception of judgment. There is knowledge in the unknown, and there is kindness in strangers. You don't have to go far to see it.